Key ideas in quantitative finance, the Black-Scholes PD. We all know the Black-Scholes PDE or the Black-Scholes formula as uh, is referred to in the literature. And in fact, when we talk about pricing calls and puts, we are using in the modern financial markets the Black-Scholes PDE. Very famous formula published in 1973 by Fisher Black and Myron Scholes, this formula allowed the analysts at the time, in particular the, the people working in the markets of options, to calculate the fair price of a call option and of a put option given some parameters. These parameters could be observed in the market and therefore it was a very, very useful addition to the analyst toolkit, uh, not to mention to what the traders uh, uh, use to interpret how the financial markets are behaving. But <clears throat> the black shoals of such large fame, uh, which obtained the 1997 Nobel Prize <coughs> in economics, and uh, this prize was uh, assigned to uh, Myron Scholes and to Robert Merton, who also worked with the uh, other two authors in the original development of the model. Um, it was uh, unfortunately not received by Fisher Black, who had died a few years before the Nobel Prize was awarded. Nevertheless, this formula is one of the main pillars of modern quantitative finance. But when we talk about Black Scholes, we are in a bit of confusion here, because they are in fact two Black-Scholes formulas, so which are we referring to? In fact, there is the Black-Scholes PDE, or the Black-Scholes Partial Differential Equation, is the one that we have on the top here, and we have the Black-Scholes formula. The Black-Scholes formula for a call option is the one that we have here in the bottom part of the image. They are both called Black-Scholes, but they are very different. One, in fact, represents the question the other represents the answer. The Black-Scholes PDE, partial differential equation, in fact, is the general law that describes how many types of financial der derivatives must behave. So this PDE, Black-Scholes PDE, describes how many types of derivatives should behave. It's like Newton's law of derivatives, as it were. The Black-Scholes formula is one specific solution to that PDE. And it is the solution uh, to the PDE Black Shoals when we are talking about European call or European put options. And if we apply the PDE to this type of contracts, then we are able to compute an analytic formula, a closed formula that allows to determine the prices immediately without requiring simulation or other complex numerical techniques to know what is the price given certain parameters for these call and put options. It doesn't work for other types of options. It doesn't work for American options, for example. It doesn't work for Asian options or Bermudan options or other types of hybrids. Indeed, the black shoals formula is like the main tool that we use to interpret the prices observed in the market. And that's why it is useful every day. It's like our hammer. Uh, that we use all the time in quantitative finance. The Black-Scholes PDE instead is very general. It is a way to represent the question, the relationships that the variables that describe the contracts should respect. And in fact, the Black-Scholes PDE, as I said, is the statement of the problem, whilst the Black-Scholes formula is a particular solution for this type of contracts we were describing. But why are we so excited about uh, the, uh, of having a PDE describing what happens to derivatives? Well, <clears throat> one of the reasons is that PDEs are very important in science. Most of the key physical laws, such as the Maxwell's equations that describe electromagnetism, Navier-Stokes equations that describe fluid dynamics, Schrodinger's equation that describe quantum mechanics, and many, many others, are framed, are written in terms of partial differential equations. So when we see a partial differential equation also describing what happens to derivatives, physicists like me are very happy 
because they think that, well, here we have the law that all these contracts should respect. But not only that, the real reason beyond uh, this link with science or with physics in particular is that we have many powerful mathematical and numerical techniques to solve PDEs. And those techniques that we use to solve problems in physics, be it electromagnetism or fluid mechanics or anything, we can now use them to solve the problems in finance, in particular, the problems about pricing financial derivatives. The Black Shows PDE itself has different uh, terms, and these terms have different interpretations. And as all PDEs, some of them are the diffusion term, the convection term, etc. In terms of the Black Shows PDE, we have that the first term is the time decay, that is the partial derivative with respect to time. The second term represents the convexity, that is the second derivative, and this is what is associated with the gamma. The third term represents the drift, that is the diffusion term, that is the first partial derivative with respect to stock price. And finally, we have a discounting term in which we have the value of capital B, which represents the financial contract, which is subtracted from the whole.